Hi everyone, so I wanted to make a video about my ankle fracture um, just because there's not a lot of personal stories on YouTube and I know me personally, I've never broken a bone. So I was actually kind of looking for something like that, you know, to give some tips, tricks and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I just wanna share like my experience so far um, and you know, just kind of tell you guys like what happened to me. So I was in my room one day with my son, he was jumping on the bed and I started running over to try to make sure he didn't fall off and I slipped and I think what happened was this, the bad foot went into the suitcase that I still had on the floor and since it had nowhere to go when I was falling, it just kind of twisted. Um, but it, it happened so fast, I, I, I can't even tell you. But it, I just know it was really excruciating, um, screaming at the top of my lungs, I had to call the ambulance, um, they came, had to take me down the steps in this little chair they have, took me to the hospital. Um, it was dislocated as well. I don't know if I said that or not. So they had to put it back in place while I was awake. Wasn't Didn't have any milk or magnesia, nothing. They gave me a block inside my foot, which hurt uh, really, really bad. Um, but yeah, I was, I was in the room screaming. I told them I'd rather be giving birth. Yeah, I don't think I handle pain very well. But um, anyway, so... Um, that was on a Wednesday, June 2nd. Uh, the following Monday, I had my appointment at the surgeon. He went over the x-rays. It was a really quick appointment. Went over the x-rays. Um, they scheduled my surgery for June 18th, which was over two weeks after when I broke it. It was 16 days later. Um, so I was obviously non-weight-bearing for those 16 days. And then after my surgery, um, it's six weeks that I'll, total that I'll be uh, non-weight-bearing. So... After all, all is said and done, it'll be around eight weeks that I'll, that I'll be uh, non-weight bearing. Um, so it's July 1st today. I just went to my post-op appointment and they took the soft cast off and put me in a air cast. Um, and I'll be honest, my heel is not at the bottom of the cast. So she told me to slowly work on it today and let it let gravity kind of pull my heel down to the bottom. Um, and I asked her, will that cause problems if it's if it doesn't go to the bottom by the time I'm ready to walk? And she said, you know, yeah, but it should go down within a day or two. Um, so, so um, I will be adding pictures to this um, of uh, my cast in the hospital, uh, the cast after surgery, which looks very similar to the one I had in the hospital. Um, and also today when they took off the cast, I'm gonna add pictures of the sutures and of the air cast, what that looks like.